Hi. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to Creating Connections Podcast, episode 157. I am Mitch Taylor. And I'm Vicki Wisney. Rush, rush. You know that, remember that song? I, I suck at singing, uh, especially <laughs> with a cold. Uh, but Rush, Rush was a great song by Paula Abdul circa, what, 1991 or something like something that? Something like that, I'm yeah, sure, yeah. yeah. That's what we're talking about here on Creating Connections podcast today. How does Rush Rush by Paula Abdul or just that <laughs> thought of Rush, modern day warrior? No, the other Rush. How does that apply to your business? We'll talk about it here a little bit. That was nice and easy. What are you talking about? This also speaks to a much bigger issue. Providing personal solutions through understanding people. This is the Creating Connections Podcast with Gittimer Certified Advisor Mitch Taylor and Certified Personality Trainer Vicki Musney. Welcome back to Creating Connections Podcast, episode 157. I'm Mitch Taylor. And I'm Vicki Musney. And today we're talking about Rush, not yes. the band, not the great song from Paula mm-hmm. Abdul. No, we're talking about, do you rush? Do you charge extra for rushing? How many rushing yards did you have last year? Oh, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, not that kind of rush either. Goodness. <laughs> no, from Sales Free Event Pros. This yes. is the episode where we pick a topic that's been discussed in our Facebook group and take a few extra minutes to kind of explore that topic. So yeah. this one was posted right on the heels of Mobile Beat Las Vegas. And I think being at that show helped kind of put the question in context for me too. Absolutely. But it was basically someone called and asked me for something that they needed the next day and I wanted to charge them a $10 rush fee and they bought. And was I out of line? That was essentially the gist of the question. Okay, let's go back to the other thing. Wasn't, wasn't this person sitting down for dinner with their family? Yes, that I is mean, absolutely relevant. On the day after being in Las Vegas for a whole week. <laughs> seriously? $10. You've got to be kidding me right now. I think that's part of the problem though, Mitch. If you value your time so much that you're going to say, I'm with my family, I, if I have to drop everything and do this for you right now, something that normally would be a three to four day turnaround and you want it tomorrow, I'm going to charge a rush fee, then charge a rush fee. Charge a rush fee that shows that you value your time. Yeah, I mean, you know, I don't know. I mean, I think this the spirit was in the right place, like saying I, I need to charge extra, but I don't think ten dollars actually shows that you value your time. I don't know that. I don't know. There was a there was a disconnect for me. I I get it. I think that the OP was trying to be kind, and I think we always should be kind as much as possible. I'll give you that. However, this guy, I mean, 10 bucks is kind in my opinion. I mean, that's not a ridiculously priced rush fee. If it were me, I probably would have charged 20, 25 bucks. Yeah. I could be honest. Yeah. And again, I don't know what the actual cost of the item in question is the I don't know what the what the actual fee is for what was requested, but again, if that is something small and ten dollars was double what it was, then yeah. maybe that's different. If it was something that was a couple hundred bucks, then there's definitely st- disproportionate. Yeah, but we're still we're still talking. I, I don't think it was a couple hundred bucks, but we're still talking about the fact that someone has to drop what they're doing. They literally just got back from Vegas. They're sitting down for dinner with his family. And maybe the, maybe the, the guy that he that was, wanted a rush fee on it, maybe the actual customer, mm-hmm. maybe he didn't know about he just got back from Vegas. I don't recall yeah. if that's part of the conversation or not, or having dinner with his family. But still, I mean, we have to realize that there are times when we can just say no. 
I think the bottom line though is that sometimes as business owners, we have to decide, is this XYZ, this gig, this product, in this case, it was a tangible item that needed to be created. Is this worth it to me? And that is something that every business owner has to answer for themselves. Absolutely. And I think, you know, and maybe the fact that you just got home from a trip in some people's minds that may not be relevant, but as a, as a single op, small business owner, it's just me and my husband running our business. Like I remember reading that post going, yeah, it must be the different time zone. I'm just about to sit down to dinner. If somebody called and asked me for something tomorrow and I haven't seen my family since last Saturday, I'm out. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. And, I, and maybe that's just me being um, all my years of practice as a mean mom, but lack of planning on your part does not constitute an emergency on my part. And I think the same is true in business. It's a lesson I try to teach my children. I don't always, because let's face it, I love them and sometimes I do bail them out. Of course. But they need to learn that, you know, and carry that into adulthood when they go into business for themselves, that they have to plan ahead. And there are times I know we wait till the last minute or something comes up or we think of something that we really wish we had. And, you know, and I look at like, paying ordering something online i have to pay a rush fee when i want right. a delivery right you know i mean even with amazon prime we pay a yearly fee for the and privilege of having that delivered in two days like and the funny not, thing is at that point is that it doesn't matter the cost of the item sometimes yeah. the shipping is more than the item for real to get it here on time mm -hmm. so for someone to, i don't think there's any correlation per se, we talked about that earlier, about the dollar amount versus the price of the unit. Yeah. Uh, the reality is you need it yesterday. You're gonna pay for that. Yeah. And 10 bucks is generous. And to have someone say that to him is just not respectful of time. It's like the fact of people who schedule meetings mm -hmm. and then don't show up. Yeah despite the reminders that we send or a text that we send or whatever the case may be. Yeah. All we're asking is just, you know, um, to be kind, really. That's but in this asking. case, I think the right decision was made because if that person boxed at $10, they weren't valuing what you did anyways. And they think the answer was, well, I'll just do it myself. Well, if you were in that big of a bind you just, and you can do it yourself, then do why it yourself. did you reach out to the pro? <laughs> So, you know, I don't know. And, and it's good that I think many of us think that way as bootstrappers, as entrepreneurs, we want to do it ourselves. But the reality is in the long run, you might be better off passing it off and spending the money. So you can focus yeah. elsewhere where your efforts are better put to use. Whatever that mm -hmm. might be, whether it's sales, whether it's operations, whether it's marketing, whatever it is. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Those are things definitely to think about and think about it the next time you ask for a rush fee. Yep. How much is that worth to you and how much is it worth to your customer who's asking for that rush fee, if you will? Yeah. Yeah. Don't be afraid to put a rush fee on. I don't think, I mean, I guess if you have the opportunity to build it in when you quote the price, go for it. But if it's something that they purchased from you before and they know what your usual rate is, um, in that case, they also know what your usual turnaround time is. Yeah. So it shouldn't be a shock if they're wanting something that's sooner than the usual turnaround that they might have to pay a little more than usual. So, yeah. But if, if you don't value your time, nobody else will. Exactly. Exactly. That's it for Creating Connections Podcast, episode 157. I'm Mitch. And I'm Vicki. Thanks so much for watching. We provide personal solutions to understanding people. We'll see you next time. Have a great week. Thank you for listening to the Creating Connections podcast with Gittimer Certified Advisor Mitch Taylor and Certified Personality Trainer Vicki Musni. For more information on providing personal solutions through understanding people better, visit creatingconnections.biz.